What's going on guys, Victor here and welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday. Now in this week's video, I want to share with you guys the secret that I use to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars on lead products. Now when I'm talking about lead products, chances are that as a fisherman you guys have used lead in the past. This could be anything from a vertical jig, a jig head, a lure, uh, any type of sinker. So we're talking about egg sinkers, pyramid sinkers, bank sinkers. Lead is actually very prevalent in the fishing industry and it is one of those things that it is not the cheapest in the fishing world and but I will show you guys on how to make your lead costs go way down so you guys can spend more time fishing, you guys can spend your money elsewhere and not pay full retail cost for lead. Before I move on and I share with you guys on how I save money on lead, let me bring this up real quick. So the average retail cost, you're probably paying for lead. So now when I say retail cost, I'm talking about if you go into a, a, a big retail store such as Dick's, Cabela's, Bass Pro, or even your local mom and pop tackle shop, chances are you're gonna be paying around 40 cents an ounce at the lower end, all the way up to $2 an ounce. And this is not cheap if you think about it. So if you take the 40 cents an ounce for a five ounce egg sinker, um, that's a $2 weight and if you think about it, the fact that that 2 ounce egg sinker that's something you're fishing on bottom and you're generally going to get snagged on bottom you know after you fish it enough time so if you're a bottom fisherman a snapper fisherman that's a very expensive rig. I'm going to show you guys how you can take that 5 ounce egg and bring it all the way down to 50 cents uh, to make that egg weight 50 cents versus that $2 egg weight. Now that I got that out of the way, and now that you know that lead is a lot more expensive than you think it is, I want to share with you guys on how I save money on lead. So the way that I do it is I make my own lead products. So I make my own sinkers, I make my own lures, I not all of them, but I do make my own vertical jigs. So now, this brings me to my next point. So here we have a website called doitmoles.com and you guys know I love to share these websites with you guys, websites that I believe in and that help you guys save money because that's what I'm all about is putting the power back into the people, you guys my viewers. So Do It Molds is a website that has uh, molds for almost every sinker you can possibly imagine. I'm talking about trolling weights, split shots. Uh, bell sinkers, bank sinkers, they have so many different types of specialty sinkers. And the reason I'm telling you this is because towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys where to actually get the lead in bulk and then in conjunction with the uh, molds you guys are going to get from this website that you guys can order from this website, you guys are going to see how much money you can save and how I save so much money on the lead that I use. Also, just to quickly add, Do It Molds does not just make sinker molds, they also make vertical jig molds, they make jig head molds, they make all types of lure molds, so it is a very good, nifty, do-it-yourself website where you guys can order these things. So if you're a creative person and you like to make your own jigs, you like to make your own lures, you guys have to check out this website, doitmolds.com, because they have literally everything you guys can possibly imagine when it, makes to, when it comes to tackle craft and to making your own stuff. Now I'm not actually going to show you guys on how to make these sinkers in this video. That will be in the video for the future. Alright guys, so you guys know about doitmolds.com now. I want you to keep that in the back of your head. Definitely give them a check. But now where I actually get my lead from and where I buy my lead in bulk in order to be used with conjunction, in conjunction with the molds that I got off this website brings me to my next point. So now I want you guys to uh, look up this guy named The Lead Bandit. Now the Lead Bandit is a website run by a guy named Patrick right here in South Florida at a Pompano Beach. Also I wanted to quickly add that all the websites and links that I'm talking about will be in the description box below so if you guys get lost make sure to check that out. But now let's talk a little, about, a little bit about the Lead Bandit. So the, previously I told you guys that you're paying 40 cents an ounce retail cost for lead. Well the Lead Bandit uh, you guys can actually order lead in bulk from his website or if you're local to South Florida you guys can actually go to his uh, shop and pick up lead. Now here's where I'm going to throw some numbers at you guys so really pay attention. So the Lead Bandit offers lead at $1.75 a pound and a pound of lead is 16 ounces. So for a pound of lead 
and he has a flat rate shipping cost of $8 all around the United States. I'm not sure if it's worldwide, but I know it's all around the United States. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether you are ordering 100 pounds of lead or a pound of lead, it's a flat rate $8 shipping cost. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can get it, how you can get lead for 11 cents an ounce and even under that by using the lead bandit. Now I want to save you guys money and I also want to give Patrick some business. So what I went ahead and did is I contacted Patrick from the lead bandit and I asked him to set up a promo code for you guys. So if you guys go to the lead bandit and order lead from him and use my promo code Landshark, which will be in the description box below, you guys can get 10% off your order from the leadbandit.com, which is even more savings at a ridiculously low cost. So now here's where the numbers come, come in. If you guys buy 10 pounds of lead from the Lead Bandit, so that's 160 ounces, using my promo code, after shipping and handling and tax, you're gonna go down to 14 cents an ounce for lead. Compare that to the 40 cents an ounce you're paying at a retailer. That is more than half the savings. If you guys order 20 pounds of lead, it goes down to 12 cents an ounce. If you guys order 30 pounds of lead, it goes down to 11 cents an ounce. So you guys catch my drift. The more lead that you guys are ordering in bulk, the more you're saving and the less you're paying per cents an ounce. Now that 11 cents an ounce that I told you about, that's just for 30 pounds. So with that 30 pounds of lead, with shipping and handling, it would come out to $54.05. That might seem like a lot at first, but 30 pounds of lead will last you a very, very, very long time. It could last you upwards of two years, depending on how much you fish and what you do. And I'm telling you right now, you can go into your local tackle shop and spend $50 in lead in no time, and that'll be gone in three, four fishing trips. So you guys kind of catch that drift of the more you guys buy, the less and less prevalent that shipping cost becomes into your price per ounce you're paying. I'm sure that if you bought enough lead in bulk, you can probably get it down to eight cents, seven cents an ounce. And this might seem like a lot at first, you know, like I'm telling you guys, if you ordered 100 pounds of lead from this guy, that's 175 bucks plus your shipping and handling, and after the 10% off, you're probably still right around 180. But if you think about it, why don't you split it with four friends? You know, you guys have uh, $180 split four ways. That's not that much money, between 40 and 50 bucks. And that lead will literally last you guys for years and years to come. And that brings me to my next point also is if you guys buy these molds and the lead melter and everything from this website like I did, you guys don't have to buy this for yourself. You know, these molds are not something that will, these molds will last you a lifetime. The lead melters will last you a lifetime. So go in on it with four or five buddies. Uh, you know, some of you guys who might be younger who are 14 don't have a lot of money. You know, ask your mom and dad and you guys can buy this in, you know, and partner up with your friends. Uh, six of you, five of you split it. And then you guys spend a whole day making lead and you guys have lead for months, uh, years to come because the molds and the lead melter and everything, it will get costly, but if you guys do the math and you calculate how much you're gonna pay in the long run, it is gonna be a lot cheaper than continuing to buy lead at the store. And it's nice because now that you guys can have all this stuff at your home, you know, you don't have to worry about going to the tackle shop. You guys can make what you want, when you want, how much of it as you want. And also, um, I told you guys about the lead bandit. That's just a local thing to South Florida. So if you guys are from somewhere else in the country, there's probably guys like the lead bandit all around the country. And there are plenty of ways to find scrap lead around. Do your research online. Stop paying, stop paying for overpriced lead. Don't pay 40 cents an ounce at a retailer. And if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys think I missed anything or you want to critique it, go ahead and leave a comment below but I really wanted to highlight Do It Molds because they are a great website and it really does allow you, the consumer, to save a lot of money. And the same thing with the Lead Bandit. So you guys check out the Lead Bandit, check out Do It Molds, and let me know what you think in the comments comment section below and look forward to a video in the future. I will be showing you, showing you guys on how I actually use my molds and my lead melter that I purchased from doitmolds.com and I'll show you guys exactly how to make it the safety involved because making lead is not, uh, it's a pretty user friendly experience. This is not something that complicated. And I know I'm rambling on, 
And then also in a future video, I'm gonna show you guys on how I make my own vertical jigs. And vertical jigs are something that are very expensive and I'm gonna show you guys how you can make them for a tenth of the cost that you would be paying at a retail shop. So until that next one guys, stay salty my friends and I'll see you in that next video.